Hey everybody, Ryan FMG here, and before we talk about today's deck, please pet the little corgi in the bottom right of your screen. That's the sub button, and it means a lot to me to get subs with each and every video. So today's deck that I want to talk about is X Charge Shot, and you might be thinking, yo, this just got severely nerfed because Charge Shot now costs a heck of a lot more AP, as well as X himself got nerfed pretty heavily and my main thing is i really like x charge shot i thought it was really good and yes the nerfs extremely hurt it but what i kind of want to see today is is x charge shot dead and i'm more looking at the mono green version compared to you know in the past we might have saw some purple version or something like that but i kind of want to see is mono green x charge shot dead so this is somewhat similar to a previous list that I've posted on this channel before. However, we did kick the playset of X out because I think with the nurse, he's a little bit too weak overall. Yes, he's still very good because he throws around HP when resonate, but he doesn't pump himself. And so it just seems a little bit more situational. So I took out the three X's and put in three Irises. Iris is just very, very good for MP boost. And when you want to spam a lot of actions, play a couple big units, Iris can really help just gain MP, you know, MP boost of 50. So you're getting a whole lot of MP very, very fast. Yes, this doesn't really become a win con, but it kind of helps to feed your engine. And the only other change that I made was we added three honey. This is one MP, give plus two HP to a friendly unit. This was in core set. This does not see that much play. Yes, maybe I'm kind of playing this card because it's named honey and I love this little bear monster. Just, oh looking so lustily at the big honeycomb. However, you know, since some of our units don't have resonate, uh, this can really get be good when you do your X charge shot, you know, pump it plus two HP, and then it will actually get plus one attack as well. So this is a pretty decent uh, pump spell overall, and I kind of want to see how it plays out. And then to add the three hoodies, we just kind of cut out one block, one disarm and then one shattered horn i definitely wanted to cut out some of the two mp actions and then just one shield seemed completely fine to cut out so that's kind of the deck i'm not sure how this will play out but hey let's test it out and see how we can do up against nero hey nico we can keep this right we have basically mammoth and uh our five drop are the heaviest hitter so as soon as we have one of those we will be keeping that hand and then we just have tons of way to pump it up let's just drop this here okay well they're kind of flooding the board let's just kind of get shield we don't love to give shield just to this when it's only taking one attack but we kind of want to cycle through i think we just use I think we just use the free one on this, even though they still will get the effect, but that that's fine. The MP will be severely hindered. And I think we're just going to drop this right here to kill the Rebecca. Let's just block. I don't really want to use this. Oh, we, I guess we did have two memory. You should probably use this. We could just use this to cycle. Yeah, let's just do this to cycle. And also, now that we need to get AP to 21, you really always want to be doing active response phase. You know what? Now I think we just do the Iris at the top lane to kind of get some MP ramp going. And then we can play Plant right in the middle lane. And now I'm starting to feel very good. Like, we could Shattered Horn here, but I don't know if I really particularly care about doing that. Because none of these units are scaring me that much. Uh, let's just do this. So we now need to just play one more thing. Let's just play this also. And now we can just use our hero power and start spamming stuff. So I definitely want to use Blade Shiner Defense on the Iris so that it actually becomes a two attack unit. I think that would be very, very good. We could just do this. Yeah. 
We maybe wanted to do that a little bit earlier, but I think it's fine. Let's just keep doing that. Let's just, like, hopefully it goes up there to kill their MP boost, and then that's just really stringle holding. I guess they do have quite a bit of MP already. I guess we could have put it on the plant 42. We definitely didn't need to put it on the mammoth because the mammoth is just becoming quite big, quite fast. Hopefully it just, just goes up top to kill Nero. Yeah, if they could shield or something, that's why we could just like shield back. Let's just do this to try to just kill this in one hit. Even though it's not doing much, it's just like, let's just now get damage in. Kind of didn't realize we were at 10 MP. And this is why Iris is great, right? It's just fueling, just giving us all this MP so we could just keep on spamming these actions. Well, we're out. <laughs> Which like, this kind of stinks because now we don't have any plays until something dies and something is not dying anytime soon. But, you know, embarrassment and riches, I guess. I feel heavily favored because they're at seven. One hit for Mammoth will kill. These two will kill. And even when they kill something, we're just so favored here. Yeah. Yet again, X charge shot. Did it get a little bit weaker? Yes, but Mammoth is still just so powerful. Up against Hey Nico another time, I guess. We can keep this. I wonder if we should play Iris to try to get value, or if we just start like doing some heavy hitters. Let's try Iris. We'll do that so it doesn't get hurt by that a ton. And I kind of just want to wait and play Plant. Yeah, let's just play Plant here. And let's just do block. We need to make sure that this mammoth will kill this combo unit. I really don't want to do this yet, so let's just do this. And if they do something, that was a perfect, so we could use wall jump. Um, let's just wall jump our mammoth. Like, yes, we could do plant 42, but plant 42 is only taking one, and that's not that problematic. So unfortunately, we're still kind of a little bit far away from the 21 AP that we need to do to use our hero power. And yes, we do have a lot of actions in hand, but I kind of want to wait to do the actions, but we might just need to pop some actions here. We really just want to get to 21 and then use our hero power so then this will just get so big. Um, let's just do this. Okay, now we don't really want to do this in active response phase because this is a pump spell in and of itself. So even if they do something, I think we pass. Okay, that's great that I did not do anything. Do we wait for this to die? No, I don't. I think that's a little greedy. That was fantastic. Yes, we're kind of going all in on this, but we both have one powerhouse unit that we kind of, whoever wins that battle kind of wins. Fine. Bottom unit. Eh, it's kind of fine. It'll help make the plant 42 survive. I kind of wonder if we just let this die up there. 
Uh, just play this. Let's do this because now I kind of want to get the plant 42 a little bit bigger now that the mammoth is just against the iris. So let's quickly do this to kill this so then the Diabolus will actually hit and this should be pretty much the nail in the coffin. Like four, they'll be at two. I don't really want to do anything. Like yes, we could like wall jump something, but I would rather wait just to not give them any free MP. Sure. Um... You know what, let's just do this to cycle, see what we get. Perfect. Playing against another charge shot, let's go. We're both stuck in the past, the previous meta. I'm down. I just want to play Diabolus to be honest. Maybe we wait to get nine and then just play these two so that we have two threats and then we can like disarm or something if we need be. We could have played this to hope to like hit in for a couple. We want to play this first, see what they do. Nah, I'm going to play this now. They're not doing anything. Okay, that's extremely fair, but they kind of, I don't know kind of okay with this especially that we got to nullify their iris even though this dude isn't that big it still will kill their dino so i want to just like save it like i'm not going to like go severely out of my way to save it but we might as well make this trade and then go from there We probably don't mind it dying now because then we can just play an Iris in that spot. Okay, well, I'm going to do this because I think they might try to sneak in and eat it. Because they just have so much MP now. Okay, so they are playing X still, which is kind of cool. Ooh, Panda? Did not see that coming. Oh my gosh, that was terrible. We needed to do our axe charge shot because I don't want to use any actions now, right? Kind of want this to be bigger so it can eat the Panda because that's going to be the hardest thing. Do this again, so it'll be four power. It's still not killing in two, but if they do something, we can. That was perfect, because that's kind of what we want to do, and they're out of AP. We have disarm for X, but I actually don't know even if we need it. Because X will. Like, they need a shield. Um, let's just do this. Oh. See, this is like wall jumps and just all the shields are just mirror breakers, and that is just so powerful. And now all they have is an X. We kind of definitely won those trades, and I don't really see it. Like, this deck is so snowball y, where now we just kind of win here. Because, like, both of these are just lethal in and of themselves. Yeah. Okay. Kind of. I don't know, Panda was pretty cool to see, an next charge shot. Fourth and final round, we're against AA Jill. We definitely have to mulligan this. We, this Panda's terrible. 
whew, I got really scared. The Plant 42 was the last card I saw, and I was like, oh my god, this is terrible as well. I think we just kind of wait, because they have a lot of damage effects, so I kind of want to do this, then be able to spend some actions to save it. Yet again, I'm going to do this before they can play like a Hellbat and get Detonation and stuff like that. Wow, that was really good, because now we can't even disarm this. Um, we could just disarm this, and I actually don't think that that's the worst thing. Yeah, I think we just kind of go down this path, because we kind of need to draw something. It slows the progression down of their Jill as well. And now we do have memory count, so these are going to be fantastic. I think we wait a little bit, put the mammoth up here to fight with the Jill. So Quickly doing that so it's out of detonation range, and then now if they detonate we'll just do this, which is way better. Going to do this because hopefully this hits the Hellbat and kills the Hellbat so that it doesn't break the Plant 42 shield. I really want to try to be greedy and put one of those two, but I think that's actually how we lose here. Because I think we need to just keep fighting over the top lane. That's a killing combo though. Okay, so now we finally, finally can use our hero power. The 21 threshold is getting very hard to get and achieve sometimes. On hit chill. Oh yes. Tilt. I kind of forgot that they had shields. Um, that's fine. We'll just do this. And now we have a dead draw because now we just have to wait till we can play a four draw, and by that time it might just be a little bit too late. That was very unfortunate for us. Like, if we just could, like, draw another shield or something like that, that would have been way better. This will kill that, so that is good. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, GG opponent, you got us. Yo, it kind of stinks if we could maybe have that honey or so any kind of actions before. That could have done a lot better. Cause like we could drop this here, but like it's just going to kill whatever. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't get there. Overall, we went three and one, which is a pretty decent record overall. But man, did this deck seem less streamlined and just more clumsy than the previous iterations before the nerfs. The charge shot hero art having a way higher AP to use really, really hurt because you would kind of dump out your hand and then still be kind of short and then you would have to just be chaining these action uh, action cards without getting the full effect of charge shot and that was just so rough and especially missing X. Like these irises were good, but man, it really feels bad missing X. So overall, I don't think that this is the best list. This was my kind of like day one you know, not day one, but you know, kind of my first iteration of what X could look like now. And I definitely think there is some ways to tune around and Honey did not feel as good as I was kind of hoping it would feel. But overall, even changing some of these cards around, X Charge Shot is going to feel very, very clumsy it, compared to the old iterations, at least with the card pool that we have now, right? We could get some more cards that makes it feel a lot better because overall, 
Mammoth, Diablos, and even Plant 42 are still really, really good cards. So if you can make them stay around long enough to get to your hero art, then it's feeling very good. So I think how you kind of play this deck will change. And you know what? I kind of miss more shields and stuff like that. But anyways, is X dead? lukewarm i think this iteration i would not be that thrilled to be playing it right now it is fun so if you like this deck you can still win but overall i'm very keen on changing the iteration or you know in the past we kind of did see some green purple or you know dual color charge shot decks i'm wondering if that's kind of where we go back to with how green x charge shot got nerfed but anyways that's it for me today thank you all for watching i'll see you all next time